Hello. 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 I miss you. It's so lonely in here. Hey. What up, what up, what up? Um, <laughs> so, what hello, isolation people. Uh, Joe put out a little isolation video last week. I'm putting out one this week. What are you going to do about that? Yeah. yeah, I just want to say thanks for tuning in to our isolation content. Things are going to be pretty weird for as long as this is going on for. But we're going to be doing yeah. some kind of more... We're going to be experimenting a bit. We're going to be doing some more kind of vlog style stuff. So if you're only interested in me breaking down these beautiful boards, I want you to... Basically, when you get bored of the, the beginning of this video, go to this timestamp here, and that's when I'm going to be giving down the download. If you're just keen to, you know, come on a little journey, <laughs> come on a juicy little journey with me. It's definitely juicy. Then let's go. I don't know if YouTube's ready for my bald head yet. Annie is not taking isolation quite as well as I am. So this morning is an exciting day in the in the world of isolation, and that is because I have things, oh god, to take out of boxes. Uh, welcome, by the way, to um, where I am now. This is what it looks like if I spin around. Here are some little um, little bits I've been making. Here. Little holds for a future project there, and here. These arrived a couple of days ago, but I've been resisting opening them because, you know, oh, that's way too high. Because um, taking things out of boxes is what YouTubers do apparently, so I'm going to do that. You're going to cut it now. No, I want like... Like sexy, like all up close, like ooh, yeah. ooh, I'm cutting the thing, you know? Okay, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, and make sure you get the sounds in, yeah. I mean, get the sounds me. in. <laughs> yeah, chopping that. Ooh. Whoosh. Whoosh. Yeah, sexy B roll. this already in slow motion. Oh. So they're supposed to, as you probably guessed from the name of the video, that they're only supposed to be sending me hangboards, but it looks like they've, they've sent us some some chalk, which is good, because in isolation I'm starting to run low on this, surprisingly. <laughs> um, what else have we got in here? Okay, we've got Ooh. some, these have little sandy backs. I think, are these hand sanders? Sanders. They must be hand sanders, beautiful. And then they've also sent us. It, look at this box. I have to say, the packaging experience. You know, now I'm now I'm an unboxing YouTuber. Uh, you know, I'm enjoying this. This is a very premium experience, and I also like that there's there is some plastic going on, but actually minimal on the on the plastic front. So kudos for that. So yeah, some of their, their nature climbing brushes as well. Ooh. Have I even explained what I'm doing yet? Mm. Raw, fine, natural chalk. Better friction. It's from the Dolomites. So there you go. Made in the made in Europe. <laughs> Whoa. That was good. Are you enjoying that? Good ear feel. Oh, yeah, good good mouth feel. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Those are nice. Lovely little pinches. Can we compare them to your pinches? <laughs> no. <laughs> Lovely, nice. look at those. Mmm. Got that fresh smell. Yeah, they smell really good actually. <laughs> nice little can sink, washer in there. Hangboard, main event that they've sent here. It's a, it's, a, it's the stoke board and it is oak, but the mind blowing part is that along the top, you oh have, my day. but there's an actual, line of stone oh. so it's a stone sloper so that's actual stone and i feel like this is um 
I think it's a type of sandstone on the top of this one. Oh, and it's this one smells amazing. Oh god, yeah, so <laughs> it honestly smells so good. <laughs> I wonder... you get your schnoz on that. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to talk more about all the features of all the boards when I've got them all together because there's a couple already set up. There's a whole other box. I'm not ready for that. Ooh. Oh my! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Annie's really struggling to contain herself. <laughs> I went bloody cockney. Oh, it, co it was like cockney and Australian at the same time. Oh my! Oh my god! Oh my, oh my god! To find out what they are. So one is granite. One is like a coarse sandstone, and I think the one we've already opened is like the fine grain sandstone. So you can get it in three different kind of stone textures. I Ooh. think this one up here is the granite one, so I'm gonna give that a little go. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that is that is a cool little texture on there. Touching real rock. This is what I should be doing right now, because <coughs> the weather is so nice. I should be touching. Oh, sorry, I'm just putting my forehead <laughs> in there. It feels great. I should be touching stone, you know. Do you want me to leave you all over there? Yeah, I think you should. <laughs> uh, uh, in glorious slow motion. <laughs> um, sorry, Tom. I've ripped. I've just ripped open the lattice run, so we can have a look, see what Tom's got. What he's snuck in here for me. <laughs> Just wrap it in layers of sellotape and away you go. But it's not, that's not what matters, is it? It's about the smell. It's about how it feels when you put your face on it. Yeah, that has a more interesting scent <laughs> to it. And then here you have it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the, the wood does smell quite nice though. It smells like, it smells like a new climbing wall. Mm. And here's the lattice run. Comfortable little 20 mil edge there, and then you've got your, your nice oh, big one really at the top. Nice big one. No oh, one nice big one for you. So, what have we got here? So, finger strength self assessment. The aim to assess your finger strength using a two arm dead hang protocol. Why? Assess before and after your training cycle to measure the intervention effectiveness. Sorry, my dyslexia is, my <laughs> dyslexia is kicking in hard there. To measure the... That does say intervention. I was just surprised to see intervention there. <laughs> That's before and after a chain cycle to measure, measure the intervention effectiveness. And then it basically has a description of how to do the testing, um, like to test your finger strength. And then on the other side, it has maximal finger strength training, aerobic capacity and aerobic capacity. And also has the some 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 stuff about grip position. So that's actually oh, that's instantly really come with some really useful information. So good job on that. So one thing I should mention before we dive dive in is that we've only got wooden hangboards here and that is kind of a personal preference thing I suppose. <laughs> For me wood is much easier to train on without making your skin hurt mm. and it's also harder to hold and the objective of the exercise is to get stronger fingers so if a board is assisting you with friction then why do that when you can have a nice wooden one that is has a nice fine texture on it and it's gonna be harder to hold. So um, it's been about a week or so since we shot that intro. I've now used all the boards. So yeah, now I'm gonna talk about pros and cons of different boards. Um, it's actually mostly just different pros, not so many cons. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna do them in price order. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off with just some general 
be careful with that zoom, young lady. <laughs> with some general thoughts about fingerboards. Yeah. And then I'm going to talk about each one individually and what's good about them. And then by the end of the video, you should know a little bit more about fingerboarding and also get yourself a quarantine hangboard. Yeah. Okay, so first off, if you are in lockdown and you don't have a hangboard, it's been three weeks already. What are you doing? <laughs> All right? But don't worry, because we're going to be trapped indoors a lot longer. Yeah, basically, now is a great time to get strong fingers, and if you want to improve your climbing, fingerboarding is the best way to do it, probably. That's a pretty broad statement right there. Pretty big statement. It's a big statement. Big statement, but generalising, at least 80% of the people I see at the climbing wall would climb harder if they had stronger fingers. And that in also includes me, probably, because I <laughs> have really weak open hand strength. You've got to actually want to use it, okay? So it doesn't necessarily matter about any of the features of the board. As long as you want to use it, it's going to be better than a board you don't want to use. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Whichever one is, you know, catches your eye might be the best one to go for. Yeah, um, no point having it over your door if you're not dangling. Exactly. Um, juicy dangler. If you're not a juicy dangler. It's also worth thinking if you do hangboard regularly at the wall, what kind of hangboard workouts you like to do. And I'll talk about some boards are better for different kind of workouts, but do you like doing minimal edge work or do you like doing weighted hangs? Do you like doing one hand hangs with weight taken off? Do you like doing repeaters or max hangs? Which one are you going to be doing more of? Some are better for different things, but I'll talk about those as we get there. The last thing is what kind of setup do you have in your house? Can you actually put a hangboard, fix a hangboard to the wall? Are you going to need to, are you the type of person who wants to modify a pull up bar? Or do you have a garden or a balcony where you can potentially hang a little portable one? Mm. So whew, that takes us in to yeah. our little hangboard rundown that okay. we've got on the go here. So I'm going to work my way from the cheapest to the most expensive because I feel like that's probably the best way to do it. Let's start things off with the cheapest board. This mm -hmm. is made by a friend of ours in Devon and they've actually become, he, this was kind of a very early version and since then they've actually become pretty popular right here. This is the Ret board. It is 25 pounds, 25 pounds, that's cheap. That's pretty cheap. Um, it's pretty basic. <laughs> so you have two 15 millimeter slightly rounded edges and a central 20 millimeter edge. Um, I use this for warming up at the crag and I've also done a couple workouts on it recently. You can kind of warm up on the top of it like this, gripping it like that. The annoying thing is, is the rope does kind of get in the way, but the upside of this board is that it is tiny, it is, tiny, it is dirt cheap, and all you need is a nice neighbour upstairs that will let you hang it off the bottom of their balcony, or a garden space with a beam, or even if you're a shorter human, you could just put it on your pull-up bar and hang off it like that. Now the downside to this board is 50, a 15 millimeter edge is not massive. So it is a tricky board to kind of like warm up on. And if you probably climb below, I'm gonna throw just a ballpark number out there below V5, you're gonna struggle I can just about, you're gonna I can do it, but I can't hold it for a long time. So. Yeah, you're going to struggle doing a workout on these 15 millimetre edges that isn't kind of feeling a bit maximal, and it's going to be a little bit trickier to warm up on as well. However, if you are able to put your feet on a chair, something like that, then you're still going to be able to use this quite nicely. So this is actually worth mentioning. This is how I warm up with it when I'm at the crag and I can't find a tree. I put my foot through. I normally take this knot out, but I normally put my foot through like that kind of tuck my shoulders in so they're not so I'm not like bending my back too much <laughs> nice straight back and just pull against it um, yeah and just doing this I can get my fingers really nice and warm you can also do it one hand like that and like just pull against your own leg if you could don't have anywhere to put a hangboard you could actually do probably a reasonable repeater session like this so moving on these are the Metolius are a s split system so you need to hang these up somewhere but the nice thing about that is that you can move them as far apart as you want mm -hmm. I suppose mm -hmm. depending on where you you know 
where it feels comfiest for your shoulders. You're not fixed into this kind of range. Um, they have a nice kind of big rounded 38 millimeter kind of nice edge on the top that you could also kind of use as a bit of a sloper. A nice, actually very slightly in-cut 20 mil edge and a flat 15 mil edge at the bottom. Really nice, compact. I'm gonna talk more about this one because that's the one I've actually used out of these. But nice, compact, you can hang these off a tree. So the last thing that I've got here that is portable is the new lattice pinch block. Um, so this is different. It's very difficult to actually train pinch strength with just a hangboard. Um, so it's if pinching is one of your weaknesses, and it is mine, um, it's worth looking at getting something like a pinch block. What you you will need, however, some weights. Um, and Joe did a little video using this where he used like millions of water bottles and stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is effectively a lattice rung that's been sawn in half. It has, I think, if you wanted to, you could probably do a one arm hang workout on it as well, hanging that from the ceiling. Um, haven't used this so much yet, but thought it's worth a mention here. Pinch blocks are great. Lots of different pinch blocks out there in the world. Sniff test. Smells good. So <laughs> I, I spoke about this one a little bit whilst unboxing it, that it came with like a little breakdown of how to do a hangboard session as well, which I really liked. Um, so yeah, this is the, the lattice rung. So the lattice rung, if you don't know who lattice are, they're kind of some of the people pushing the sports science side of climbing right now. Um, also putting out tons of free great information all the time so if you don't know who they are 100% check them out um, so on the lattice rung we have a really comfortable possibly the most comfortable edge of the whole selection um, really comfortable 20 millimeter kind of rounded edge what I will say about this is it is quite a lot harder to hold than other 20 millimeter edges out there um, and then at the top you have this big, nice big rounded edge at the top here. This one it, it's fifty pounds on its own, and if you want the nice little end pieces for it, it is um, sixty-five. Sixty-five quid. So the one thing about the lattice rung that is worth mentioning: the pros and the cons of it. Super nice edge. Um, the downside is that you only have the twenty millimeter edge and the jug edge. So you can do a full workout on this, but if you are in between strengths, i.e. this is too easy to do a max hang workout, let's say, and this is too hard, or this is too easy to hang to do a maximum edge workout, but too hard to hang one-handed, you're gonna want some additional weights and a harness so you can put more weight on yourself and or take weight off with one hand to get that kind of more maximal workout. Um, the nicest thing, the nice thing about it is that it is simple. So if you do like doing those kind of, if you like, if you prefer adding weight, this is a great one to do it with. Also it integrates nicely with their crimped app with all the workouts they have there. And obviously if you want to get a lattice training plan, compare your results to any of their kind of, you know, big data sets, whatever, this is the rung they use. This is the rung you want to be doing it on. So this is the Matolius Prime Rib. It is, I think, 55 quid, so only five quid more expensive than the lattice rung. Um, it is one of these pretty much exactly. So top, top is 38, 20, and then the bottom is 15. It's nice that they fit like three really good size edges into one board. Mm -hmm. I like that about it. Um, the edges are flatter than the lattice so I would say the 20 mil is is easier to use than the lattice 20 mil um, and the 15 mil is a nice size edge personally I really like this one as kind of a warm-up and you know it's good to start here and work your way down to to this edge here yeah. I don't know it's just like it's simple comfortable board. nice comfortable I would be more than happy to have this as my only workout tool but yeah, again, you're going to need to start adding weight or altering things if 15 millimeters is not quite small enough. The prime, prime rib. That's those prime ribs. So it wouldn't be a hangboard review video unless you talk about pretty much the industry standard. 
<gasps> I would say. Big boys. Big boys. Not. I feel like there's not a climbing wall in the country that doesn't have a Beast Maker 1000 and a Beast Maker 2000. This is my Beast Maker 2000 that I've had about a long time. Yellowed with age, it, that it, one. Yeah, it is really old, but <laughs> didn't see that much use back in the day because I was a lazy little git and didn't use it. Beast Maker 1000, I think we'll start here. 80 bob for, for either of them, depending on which one you want. Something I, I really like about the Beast Maker 1000 is that it has pretty much proper jugs on top. Mm. Um, so in my opinion that makes it much better for, makes it really good for pull-ups effectively and and warming up. So it makes it, the the rib and the, and the lattice rung are quite good for pull-ups, but the jugs on the 1000, you know, that's where it's at. You <laughs> want to be doing, if you don't have a pull-up bar and you want to be doing pull-ups, these are, these are going to be really nice and comfy. Um, now I have to try and remember what size all of these thousands of holes are, and I can't, I can't do it. So I think these bottom edges, I think these bottom edges are a good, right, I'm going to do a little compare here. Yep. Yeah, so these are 20, you've got some big flat half hand edges here, and some smaller, let's say, um, I think there's about 15, maybe even slightly smaller rounded 15 millimeter edge so it's going to feel a bit more like 13 mil up at the top here and then you have got lots of different pocket options so deep pockets three finger pockets deep three finger pockets big hole in the middle and then also slope across the top okay so Let's see the differences the 2000 is kind of like the the meaner brother of the 1000 so has again similar construction kind of nice big edge but not as forgiving as these and then the bottom edges which are actually probably some of my favorite hangboard edges of all time these are they feel slightly smaller than 15 monos deep monos these two finger pockets that I don't think anyone can hold <laughs> no people definitely can um, thin two finger pockets deep two finger pockets just two finger pockets and monos everywhere and then you also have kind of legendary slopers on the top I think the 30 degree sloper and the 40 which is 40 nuts. degree which is I still can't hang these it's really hard <laughs> they're really hard to hang I just I just can they do it can they do it so, something I don't know something they do really well is the beast use, using them with the beast maker app for a repeater workout so the beast maker app has a bunch of repeater workouts from I think 5c to 8a sport grades um, and they basically take you on like a little tour of the whole board where you'll be doing like a set of hangs here with three fingers, a set of hang hangs locked off, a set of hangs in pockets, on the slopers, whatever, and it gives you like a really intense burn. And <laughs> I think last time I tried, I couldn't even do the, the 5C workout, um, <laughs> like all the way through to the end because my endurance is that bad. But if you want to be, basically, if you want to be training pockets or training root climbing, the app it combined with one of these boards is amazing and I would actually even though I bought this back in the day because I thought I was well hard <laughs> I would say the in my opinion yeah I like I love the 1000 yeah back you up there mate yeah. 1000 is the 1000 feels like an, an accessible starter board yeah this is a, a, a I would say that I, I agree with that as well so yeah if you're if you haven't done any hangboarding before and potentially you even think you know hanging one of the hanging that might be quite hard for your body weight then it's probably worth jumping in with this yeah because it has those huge flat edges that that is a great place to start and the jugs on top for warming up with yeah and then um, you can progress to the smaller ones at the bottom which is really for sure. nice for sure um yeah and you don't and you can't be bothered to you know create some kind of pulley system where you take weight off your body or something like that yeah you're doing well. I'm talking. I'm talking about stuff. <laughs> I struggle with talking videos. Grand yeah. Finale. It's a brand new board from Nature Climbing, who are kind of less known, really, in the world of holds and hangboards and stuff. They make brushes, all sorts of bits. You saw me taking out of the, box, the boxes earlier. Um, I've been using this one quite a lot, and the, I don't know, the special thing about this is that it has this kind of... Um, stone 
sloping 25 millimeter edge on the top mm. um and they it comes in three different types of stone it is the most expensive by a long way at 175 euros Ooh. which is about 150 quid i would say i mm. guess mm -hmm. maybe a bit probably a bit more so it consists of 25 millimeter sloping edge the bottom rung is 25 millimeters then you have a um, 15 millimeter edge here and it comes with these cool little five millimeter inserts so if you chuck one in there you end up with a 10 millimeter edge and if you chuck one in this bottom edge down here that gives you 20 and then if you chuck this up here you end up with this sloping five millimeter edge of doom death and destruction <laughs> and yeah that's just absolutely nailed i r really enjoyed hanging on this board not gonna lie annie how have you found it it's very sensual it's just it's i think it's um it's ri it's obviously quite expensive very expensive for a hangboard um considering a few of the other boards are like what 25 quid for the small one and like 50 quid um but if you're into aesthetics it's really nice mm, it's definitely and well made I I I don't don't know why more people aren't doing this cuz yeah for me it's great cuz I can it's like warm up warm up chuck one of these guys in and then I can have a bit of a bit of a workout without needing to add weight on kind of the 10 mil edge yeah it's also solid oak and the stone slope at the top is something I really like cuz it's just nice to hang on a bit of stone so I didn't take these off cuz I just because they live there and that, that's where they live. So these are from our friend Silly Goat. Beastmaker also do some. These are his like micro edge set and he also does bigger edges. Mm. So if you have just a board or somewhere where you can just drill little edges in somewhere, okay. these are quite a nice thing to have. Mm. So we've got some nine millimeter ones and two seven millimeter ones. So for me, if I want to do max hangs, I've kind of got to be down somewhere in the 7mm range without having to add weight on a bigger edge. So yeah, it's just nice to have. I think it's good to train small edges and also train those big heavy hangs. And I think it's 30 quid for a set of 7, of 9, 7 and 5. That's my little hangboard video. I didn't go into much detail on how to hangboard. We have a video on how to hangboard and I will also put some links in the description to useful things about how to hangboard, how to get into it. If you would like to see what I personally do, I will happily show you that as well mm. in a later video. Um, but yeah, I'm not king of form or anything like that. Um, so to summarise, if you're in isolation, get hangboarding. <laughs> so, and if you don't have one, hopefully this will help you choose. They're all just great options. So I just think pick one that 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 tickles your fancy mm. and. Yay! And get dangling. Juicy danglers unite! Yeah! Dangle! 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 Dangle. Dangle. Woohoo!